So this is going to be my rooted vegetables, except for the zucchinis. Zucchini is going in a chicken dish that I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to do that, but I'm going to do that after. So we're going to be using our three onion. This is going to be for after. We're going to use uh, minced garlic. Oops, sorry. Uh, regular sea salt and pepper. The coconut curry is from the other dish. The Jamaican vibe, jive, dive, jive is going to be for the other dish. And this is our secret ingredient. I've turned the label off so you can't see it. Can you see? Can you tell what this is? Mmm, smell that. It is so good. I don't understand how they can put man on the moon, but they can't have smell of vision on here. Anyways, I'm going to, these are golden beets. They are so good. Literally, I'm addicted to this stuff. I will peel and quarter one, throw it in my juicer in the mornings. And, and they're sweet and they just you don't get that big deep red that you get from normal beets but they are good I have eaten them like an apple they're really 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 good so tonight I'm gonna have carrots from the garden uh, potatoes from the garden I'm just gonna chop those up uh, into uniform um, swats chops uh, pieces as well as the beets put some oil in they're going to go into our baking pan with uh, our bacon roll so that our my sheep gets clean and then we will go from there so it's pretty easy to do uh, i guess i can just put you nope i can't put you there because i have to hold you hey. ah, there we go all right so I'm just gonna quarter the beads. So I don't well maybe eighths because I don't want them too too small or too big. Otherwise I'll be still waiting for them for later. Using my trusted. Can you see that? No. Where is? Where are you? Oh, there we are up here. Our ceramic knife blade. You gotta love this. The it stays sharp. Never needs to cutting and doesn't dull no matter what I use it for. Of course I don't let the kids take it outside the grandkids take it outside and, and hammer rocks with it either lifetime guarantee with all our cookware so that's always a good thing some of these potatoes are quite small so I'm going to leave them as are as is as are and it's pouring buckets out here it has been for most of the day off and on but right now it's pouring so I thought yeah it's okay I can handle having the oven on of course, that was an hour ago before I made dessert for tomorrow's um, surprising or tomorrow's um, live event of the catalog. So now it's very warm in here. I should have thought of that later. But all right, so the potatoes and the beets are done. And you're probably going to wonder why two people need so many vegetables, and that's only because the leftover root vegetables. I puree and make um, homemade garden vegetables with it, or homemade garden vegetable soup, adding some broth. And this is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it doesn't need a whole lot of time in here. And, oh, sorry. This is done. Ouch, it's hot. This is our multi-purpose pot. I've got um, our chicken bouillon in here and water, that's it. The nice thing about our pots is that it's ergonomically correct handle. So when you have it on the burner, the handle doesn't get hot. Even people with, ooh, where am I sticking my hand in there for? Even people with arthritis, problem with their joints, they can lift that pot without um, hurting themselves and with a lot of ease. So that's just going to sit there for a few minutes while I get the rest of the vegetables in the oven. So I've got my vegetables here and I'm just going to drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on there and uh, here, got to put this down for a second. So I'm putting a little bit of garlic uh, I guess I'm putting a lot of garlic. And then some salt. Some pepper. 
pepper. And, <clears throat> shoot, I just realized the label I turned on this secret ingredient. So I'm just, you know, I oh, can't even see that. Shoot, I'm gonna be a little worried there for a second. So I'm just sprinkling some of the and make sure I've got it turned around. So I'm just going to mix it all up. So that all of the pieces are done. Everything's covered. Oh, I guess I lost that beef. All right, so I'm going to set you down. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid on this very precious stuff to make sure that I don't spill it. We are going to use our spiralizer. We have two blades. We have um, a long flat one that you would use for lasagna noodles and then the one which I'm going to use now uh, makes thin ones like this. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to add that to chicken and tomatoes uh, for like a fake pasta dish to go with the root vegetables. So I'm just going to set that down. Oh, I guess I can put that. Yep, can't put that there. I guess it's just wanting to do that. All right, never mind. So you're just going to put, and then you're just going to put your, right now I'm doing zucchinis, so you're just putting it in a spiralizer, turn, turn until it's done. I find a lot of times that I'm good for just even one, a half of a zucchini, because it shreds it so finely that uh, I don't need any more than that. But today we're going to do two, uh, not two, but one whole zucchini because I want to um, have Keith's lunch in my lunch for tomorrow because I have a really busy day tomorrow and I don't have time to make lunch so I'm making some extras for leftovers. Okay. I'm just doing the second one. I guess obviously I can't talk. I would never make a good cooking show host because I can't seem to talk and do something at the same time. All right. So pop that in the sink. Put this in my bowl. Wipe my hands. All right. So there is my zucchini. And it just comes in nice little shreds, just like spaghetti. And because they're not dry pasta, it, they only take a couple of minutes to cook through. Very, very easy. All right, so now we're gonna go to what this is. All right, so that's my bouillon. These are coconut curry fries that I made. And I made them specially for this just because I didn't have any leftover fries to show you how to do this. But you can use any, you could use roasted garlic uh, fries, you could do poutine fries, you can do just a bazillion different wise, but I, I really, really, really like um, coconut curry, so I'm gonna use that. So I've let them cool a bit. I'm gonna put that back on the stove. So you're just gonna grab them, pop them in there. Just like that. And this is going to be my soup for a couple of days. Our CEO, Emilia, and uh, President, 
Sylvie have taught us over and over again that you cook once, eat twice. And so that's what I try doing. All right, so this is using, whoops, let me put the lid, coconut curry and salt and pepper. I used our chicken bouillon to make the broth, but you could use vegetable bouillon, you could use beef bouillon, you can use just about anything. I'm gonna set this down because I need both hands. So I'm gonna put some salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic in there, and then I'm going to um, get back to you. All right, hang on a second. All right, so salt. Obviously, you're just going to want to taste as you're going along. Because what I like may not necessarily be what you like. So we're, I'm just putting about mm, half a teaspoon of garlic in there. No, where's my... So this... Is I love this. It's called Jamaican Jive. Love it, love it, love it. It smells like I don't know. Can't say it smells like Jamaica because I've never been to Jamaica, but it smells like something you would want to have there. Um, we have um, mustard, onion, garlic, black pepper, red pepper, sea salt, and herbs. Secret ingredient. So I'm going to put about I don't know a, a, a tablespoon in there somewhere. And then I'm going to get my emulsifier. Um, uh -huh. Oh, it's attached already. Now mine's pretty loud, so I'm going to. So I've got the fries in here, bouillon, uh, water, I've got minced garlic and Jamaican Jive, salt and pepper, and then the coconut curry and salt and pepper were on the actual fries. pretty good all right so I'm to put this back here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one can of coconut milk I think what I need is I need to hire one of my grandkids to come over every day so while I do the video and then you're not wondering what is she doing I can only see black all right. so it's just one can plain coconut milk and then it's just going in there. Now go in the recycle bin. So I'm just gonna, because you know, as you know, if you're not used to coconut milk, it's like little chunky. So I'm just going to do this. This is completely blended. I bought this at a second-hand store, oh my gosh, 15, 16, 17 years ago. Uh, um, it's never been down. It just, I just love it. And then, just, yep, all the fries and everything. And, oh, hang on. I gotta take a spoonful. I know it's not gonna help you one bit. Oh, it smells so good. 